assalamu alaikum and very good morning dear students let's start third video of this chapter today we are doing chapter 1 the number system and uh, today's topics are comparing and ordering numbers number sequence and number line dear students please open smart mathematics textbook 3 By the end of this lesson you should be able to compare and order numbers identify and complete number sequence and understand and utilize number line Today's first topic is comparing numbers as you know comparison always happens between two objects two things or two numbers Today we are comparing two numbers and this sign means lesser than and this sign means greater than and this sign means equals to now to find greater number out of two numbers start comparing the digits one by one from the digit at highest place value or from left side now it will be clear with the help of for example now compare the numbers 8374 and 8642 we will start comparing the digits from left side or highest place value which is 8 here and this is also 8 so both the digits have same value or same so we will look at the next digit which is 3 here and 6 here at the place value of 100 it is 3 and at the place value of 100 here it is 6 so obviously this number is greater than this number or we can say this number is lesser than this number and we will write it as 8374 is lesser than 8642 it will be more clear with the help of few more examples now we will compare few pair of numbers here the first pair is given 8629 and 3986 first we will start comparing left side it is 8 here or highest place value which is 1000 and 8 is here and here it is 3 so this is obvious 8 is greater so the number is greater 8629 is greater than 3986 okay who can tell me about these two numbers yes exactly the first two places the numbers are same this is at 1000 place it is 4 at 100 place it is 2 and same is here 4 and 2 so we will move to next digit which is 3 here and 9 here so obviously 9 is greater than 3 means this number is greater than this number or we can say this number is lesser than this so we will write it 4239 is smaller than or lesser than 4293 now next pair is given 7408 and 7402 the first digit is 7 here and same is here next digit is 4 and same is here and the third digit at tens place value it is zero here and the zero is here so same up till now the numbers are same but the last digit is 8 in this number and here it is 2 here so 8 is bigger or 2 this exactly 8 is bigger so the number is bigger so 7408 is greater than 7402 now the last pair 4152 and 4152 so we will compare each digit 4 is here 4 is here 1 is here and so on and 5 is here and 5 is here 2 is here and same is over here it means all the digits are same so the number is same so we will write 4152 is equals to 4152 now one interesting thing you must have noted that mouth of the symbol is always towards greater number and point is towards a smaller number now here 
this is bigger number and mouth is towards it and point is towards the smaller here this is a smaller number and point is towards a smaller number and mouth is towards greater number and same is here this number was greater so the mouth is towards it and a smaller number is this so the point is towards it now ordering numbers ordering numbers actually same as comparing numbers but the difference is in comparison we were taking two numbers in ordering we can take more than two so we can say the basic rules for ordering numbers are same as comparing numbers the difference is that we compare two numbers and for more than two numbers or a set of numbers we arrange in order to compare them there are two types of ordering numbers ascending order and descending order in ascending order we will start writing numbers from the lowest and in descending order we will start writing from the greatest so it will be clear with example the set of numbers is given 4893 3984 5907 and 2846 now if we want to arrange these numbers in ascending order first we will find which number is the smallest so here it is 4 this is 3 this is 5 and this is 2 yes exactly 2 is the smallest number over here so first we will write this number so this is 2846 then after it we have these three numbers and which one is the smallest obviously which has three as thousand place value so here it is 3984 now the bigger than this number is this one which is 4893 and the largest number of this set is 5907 so it came at the end so now this is ascending order which started from the smallest number and ended up at the largest number in descending order the order will be reverse or opposite so we will start from the greatest number which is 5907 then came 4893 then 3984 and the smallest number came at the end in descending order which is 2846 now number sequence a very interesting concept a number sequence is a set of numbers following a pattern this is also called a skip counting by finding the rule of pattern, we can write next numbers of the pattern. For example, 124, 126, 128, 130 and 132. Who can find what could be the difference in all these numbers? Yes, we are skipping one number or we can say we are adding 2 in every number to get next number. Yes, exactly. So 124 plus 2 is 126, then plus 2 is 128, then plus 2 is 130, and plus 2 is 132. So we can say skip counting in 2's or the rule for pattern is plus 2 over here. Now, another example, 355, 360, 365, and 370. Everyone is smiling. I know you know the rule. Okay, yes, exactly. Very good. 355 plus 5 is 360, then plus 5, 365, and then plus 5 is 370. So here, what we can say as a rule, skip counting in 5s, or the rule for pattern is plus 5. Very good. Now, 412, 422, 432, 442. Yes, somebody has to tell me this. Yes, very nice. Plus 10. 410 plus 10 is 422. Then plus 10, 432. Then plus 10, 442. Here we can say skip counting in tens or the rule for pattern is plus 10. Now, the last topic for today's lesson is number line. First, we will get to know what is number line. Then we will write 
a number sequence on a number line. So first of all, a number line is a straight line on which we make points with equal distances. And on a number line, we write numbers in ascending order from left to right. So you can see this is a straight line and equal distances are marked over here. And we have started writing numbers like the smallest here, then bigger, then bigger than this and so on. So we can say that numbers are in ascending order from left to right. Okay. Now how do we uh, draw a pattern or a number sequence on a number line. Okay. Now here the number is written 309, then 313, then 317. What could be the rule? It's exactly it is plus 4. So 309 plus 4, 313 plus 4, 317. Then when we will add plus uh, 4, we will write 321. Then plus 4, 325, plus 4, 329, plus 4, 333, then plus 4 we will get in this, this rectangle 337, then plus 4, 341, 345, 349, and then after adding 4, 353. So in this way we can complete a number line as a given number sequence. I hope children you enjoyed all these things and now today's summary what we learned today as yes, we compare two numbers we are in set of numbers in ascending and in descending order and we found the rule of given pattern and complete number sequence and we completed number sequence on a number line now I hope you learned everything very clearly and nicely so you can implement your learning in your written assignments and your written assignments are task number one build up exercise one two and three page nine and ten of smart mathematics textbook three task two brush up exercise one two and three page eleven of smart mathematics textbook three then task number three build up exercise one to five page twelve and thirteen of smart mathematics textbook 3 then task number 4 brush up exercise 1 2 and 3 page 13 of smart mathematics textbook 3 and then home assignment worksheet 4 and 5 page 7 to 9 of smart mathematics workbook 3 i hope students you know the difference between task and the home assignment all the tasks you will do after this lesson immediately and home assignment you can do any time but before next lesson. Allah Hafiz, good luck and keep practicing.